Hello and welcome. So you've loaded or ingested all your data into Microsoft Fabric and you've gone ahead and built a semantic model either by connecting to the lake house or the data warehouse. And now you're assuming that you're using Direct Lake, which will give you the capability of working with large volumes of data and also you know amazing speed compared to direct query but are you really sure your model is using direct lake well i'll show you how you can verify that so before we jump into it let's just review what direct query is right in direct query the power bi engine basically queries the data from the source so from power bi the data is converted if you're using a sql server it's converted into a T-SQL statement and the data is queried from your SQL source. And the data is never copied into Power BI, but the issue with this is it could be slow depending on the availability or the, depending on your data source, right? How that is configured. Now, because to, to overcome this and provide the ability to work with large volumes of data, Microsoft introduced Direct Lake with, within Fabric. Now what Direct Lake uh, lets you do is now with this capability, you can analyze large volumes of data. And basically it loads the Parquet file directly from your data lake into memory. And then it basically swaps this data as needed. And there is, uh, there's no SQL endpoint here it, uh, since it directly works with Parquet files. And this leads to increased performance compared to Direct Query. It's uh, really fast. It's almost as fast as import mode and like i said it works with large volumes of data but having said that in certain scenarios the direct lake query falls back to using direct query and these are some of the scenarios for example if you are using views in like example if you're connecting to a data warehouse and within that you have some views then it might switch back to direct query mode or if you're using row level security maybe you are hitting the capacity limit some of the dax queries causing causing the query to hit the capacity limit so which will in turn change the direct lake query into a direct query okay now that we understand the difference between direct lake and direct query let's look at this from a power bi perspective okay here i am in my lake house and it's basically my sales data and it's in it's all ingested into the lake house and i can go ahead and create a semantic model by clicking on the new semantic model there and i can select the tables that I would like to be included in my semantic model. Now I've already created one, so let me go to that one. Now here I am in my semantic model. And if you notice, if I hover over any of these on the top left, you will see that the storage mode for these is direct lake, like as expected, right? Because I'm directly connecting to the lake data in the lake house. And also if I click on the model here and go to semantic model, on the right here, direct lake behavior, I have these options. So let's let's review them. So what is automatic? Automatic means when querying the data, it can switch from direct lake to direct query as needed, like based on the scenarios we discussed uh, discussed earlier, right? And then direct lake only is when, like the name says, it uses direct lake only. And for certain scenario, let's say you are connecting to some, some views or using using row level security, and you pick if you pick direct lake only, you will probably end up with getting an error message. And of course, direct query only uses direct query all the time, so it skips direct lake. You could probably use that to do some testing to make sure that if your if your report or ever switches to direct query mode, to check how it would perform right okay so having said this now what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect to this model from my power bi desktop okay now i am in the power bi desktop which is direct lake query connection to the model we just i just showed you and if i go to the relationship section here you can see by if i select any of these tables under advanced it does say import but it's grayed out i think that's that's a bug it hopefully will be fixed soon but it is direct lake so how do I know? I can go back here and then I can enable performance analyzer. And then let's say I, I start recording and then refresh all the visuals. When you refresh all the visuals and let me expand a few of them, you see that there is no direct query here. It's, uh, it, it is just using DAX query, visual display. So this is one way of knowing that we are not using direct query for any of the visuals. Now, to validate this, I'm going to create a visual that uses direct query. And to do that, I'm going to add a view to this to this model because we already know that if if a 
view is added, then direct lake may not be used. It might switch to direct query mode. So let's try that out. So I'm back in my model and I'm going to edit tables. And here, if I select this, now I'm, I'm able to sh uh, select views. So it will show some views. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this VW product, which is a view to this model. And then we'll see what happens. So I've added this view. And if I select that and go into advanced, you'll see that the storage mode is direct lake. And it will be direct lake until it's used in a visual or some kind of queries performed against this view. So we're, we are back with within Power BI Desktop now, which again, like it's the same model that we used earlier, which connects using direct lake to the model we just created. And what I have is the top two visuals here uses fields from the view, the VW product. And the bottom two uses is created using the product table. Okay. So now this time I'm going to refresh you visuals here using performance analyzer. And then if I expand out sales by category, which is this visual, which does not use the view, it does not use direct query. Whereas if I expand out sales by category, which uses the view, you'll notice that it does use direct query. So, so that, that's one way of figuring out if any of your visuals is using direct query. And let's try one more thing. So if I expand out the category, this is the slicer category from the table that does not use the view. It's a, it's a, it's a direct link. So you don't see anything, but the other one as well, you'll see that it does not use direct query. That's because it's just rendering this at the high level. But once I select this, now it does the query. And if I expand out this new, section here, you'll see that this uses direct query. So initial rendering, it did not use a direct query, but once it had to select the values for the slicer, it did use direct query. So that's that's one way of knowing if any of your visuals is using a direct query and it's not using direct lake mode. Now I have another way of doing this using the profiler. And here I am in the SQL profiler, which, which I'm connecting to this desktop model as analysis services model. And in the event selection under query processing, I have selected direct query begin and end and these four VertiPack events. Now, as I interact with the visuals here, I'm interacting with the ones with the view. You will notice that, uh, that you'll see the direct query begin and end in the profiler. So if, if you have direct query begin and end events, that means direct query is being used and not direct link. Sorry, I meant to say direct link. So that's, that's another way of figuring out which kind of connection is used. But be aware with profilers, sometimes there might be cases where direct query is used just to check if a row level security is applied or not. But generally, these are the two, two ways to help you figure out. Hopefully, this will help you make sure that for most of your scenarios, you're using direct lake and you know that you know when you're using direct query and you're using direct query for a reason. Hope it was helpful. And as always, any questions, feel free to reach out, obvious.com.